I have a second channel, Cube Comp MTDX. Hey everybody. So sometimes when big tech companies, uh, when they battle with each other over certain things, sometimes it can be beneficial to, to the end user. For example, the, uh, the battle between Google and Roku has created probably an unintended um, advantage for home theater PC users like myself. So for example, recently uh, Google, what they did after Roku pulled the YouTube TV application from their, I guess their web store, because existing devices still have it, in my understanding. Um, Google just said, okay, we'll just add a YouTube TV shortcut to the regular YouTube app. Well, so, FYI, in case you didn't know, the YouTube app that you see on your Roku device is nothing more than just a web page. So here we've got the TV Box Cube, one of my home theater PCs, running here, and it's got YouTube Roku on the screen. <laughs> so... I've been doing this ever since uh, October 2019 when uh, Google decided to pull access to the uh, YouTube lean back interface on anything but certified devices. Um, so I, I made this device here certified by telling it to say, oh, I'm a Roku. Basically, I uh, set Google Chrome to when it launches to say I'm a Roku and Google servers think it's a Roku. So, now, for the first time ever, now I don't have a YouTube TV subscription, you can see there's a go to YouTube TV shortcut down here, and it just opens YouTube TV. So, um, as mentioned, I don't have a short, I don't actually have a YouTube TV subscription at the moment, um, but I may get one, I may get one in the future, excuse me. Now, but see, look, we can access uh, YouTube TV. See, that's something I've been wondering about ever since I started really messing around with these home theater PCs again. See, uh, and of course, back in the good old days, <clears throat> we used to have one of the media center running with um, a Seton Infinity TV 6, or yeah, Seton Infinity TV 6 cable card tuner, and would watch digital cable that way. That was many years ago. Now, I've always wanted to be able to possibly have a streaming service option on the TV box using something like YouTube TV. But I never knew what the shortcut was. I never knew what the web address was. Never knew how to set that up, but uh, <laughs> thanks to the battle between Google and Roku, I now have a shortcut to uh, YouTube TV built into the YouTube application, which again is nothing more than just a, uh, um, <laughs> it's nothing more than just a web interface. This is literally, this, what you're seeing here is Google Chrome running in kiosk mode. And it's all through a desktop shortcut. As a matter of fact, I'll post a video link up in the corner. I think I do have a video about this from late 2019 on how to set this up. The only thing you don't get is cast to device anymore. They seem to have gotten rid of that. Um, you'd have to have an actual device to cast to. But um, the YouTube interface, I mean, it it works just fine. And again, there's the YouTube TV shortcut. And I've, to my understanding, what they're saying here or somewhere is um, is the go to YouTube TV option. Um, they're saying it's coming to Roku devices first, which is that right there, which is not actually a Roku device, but uh, Google thinks it is, and that's all that matters. Um, they're saying that it'll also come to YouTube on other platforms as well, so hey, <laughs> there you have it. So, if you are doing a homebrew um, version of a uh, smart TV using a little computer and a screen like this, uh, you should soon be able to have a remote friendly YouTube TV option straight from the YouTube web interface.
again, it's just YouTube lean back, but it's just uh, same as before. But now, uh, in order to get access to it, which is, uh, of course, the URL is www.youtube.com slash TV. Not to be confused with tv.youtube.com. What you have to do, again, is you have to tell Google Chrome to run in kiosk mode if you want the full screen interface like this without a dress bar and stuff. And you have to uh, specify in the shortcut the uh, user agent to be a Roku device. So, anyways, uh, that's just another example of uh, unintended benefits that come from <laughs> battle of big tech companies. So anyways, hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. Well everybody, that's it for this video, but don't forget there's a lot more interesting stuff on the channel to check out. Also, if this is your first time visiting this channel, feel free to subscribe to keep your channel, and also don't forget to tick the bell so that we will get notified of new video posts. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, but if you really didn't like it, there is the alternative option available as well. Also, feel free to check out my second channel, CubeComp MTDX. There you'll find videos about bicycling, weather, elevator tours, and all sorts of other neat, interesting stuff. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Feel free to come back, and thank you for your support.